A man was enjoying a day at the beach when a creature swam up to his feet. He screamed in shock when he felt it grab his foot under the water, but then reacted in a way that left many speechless. As Francis and some new friends lounged in Cadboro Bay in southern Vancouver Island, Canada, someone spotted something unusual swimming near the shallow part of the beach. Although panic didn't set in immediately, they grew concerned as the creature swam towards them with unexpected speed and agility. It resembled the color of a crocodile or alligator, and for a brief second, they thought they were about to witness a horrible scene. Standing close to the bay, Frances witnessed the scene up close. Meanwhile, a friend swiftly grabbed her phone to record the incident, unaware that she was about to capture one of nature's most unforgettable encounters. The mysterious creature continued its graceful dance in the water, drawing closer to the shore with each passing moment. Francis felt a mix of excitement and apprehension, unsure of what to expect next. As the creature approached, its features became clearer. It wasn't a crocodile or alligator, but something entirely different and mesmerizing. Francis and his friends watched in awe as the creature gracefully glided through the water, its movements captivating their attention. It didn't take long for Francis to discern the identity of the creature, and it warmed his heart. It was a sea otter swimming close to them. Even others standing by the water with Francis couldn't contain their emotional excitement, calling out to the sea otter, hoping it would swim closer. Though the sea otter couldn't understand the human's language, the moment was undeniably beautiful. Despite the temptation to approach the creature, nobody dared. Sea otters were wild animals and territorial. With their powerful bite force and dangerous teeth, any attempt to intrude on their territory could result in severe injuries. So, although they admired the creature's beauty and grace as it brightened their day by swimming close, they respectfully kept their distance. They filmed and admired it from the safety of the shore, not wanting to risk disturbing its habitat. However, amidst the awe of witnessing the sea otter's graceful swim, Francis noticed something quite shocking. Could it be? He wondered. As if in a daze, he took one step forward so that his ankles were barely in the water. But the otter suddenly disappeared from view. Francis felt disappointed. Had he scared it and made it flee? He was just about to come back to shore to his friends when something made his blood freeze in his veins. He suddenly felt something touch his foot and then grab it with determination. Francis turned towards the water again and let out a loud scream when he realized that the otter had reappeared right before him. It was holding its foot in its tiny hands as if it wanted to play with it. Around him, people started grabbing their phones and shouting at him to get back on the beach. They were afraid the otter would bite him and infect him with some nasty disease. However, Francis had a strange feeling that the otter wouldn't hurt him. To be honest, he even believed that the little animal had come for him. As his friends looked at him in disbelief, he started recounting a story that left many of them speechless. This wasn't his first time in the area. About a year ago, he had visited the exact location for a vacation and some rest, where he had a surprising encounter with an otter. During that visit, Francis had been lucky enough to stumble upon a family of sea otters, not in the water, but on land. From a distance, he watched them curiously as he set up his tent near the beach for the evening. As evening fell, he witnessed the otters gracefully return to the water, seamlessly blending into the tides and waves of the bay. It was a beautiful sight, reaffirming the otter's ability to thrive both on land and in water. However, as darkness enveloped the bay and Francis settled into his tent, he was abruptly awakened by a loud, distressing sound nearby. At first, he thought it might be a bird or another creature, perhaps even the otters communicating with each other. But he soon realized he was mistaken. The sounds persisted, growing more urgent and distressing with each repetition. Though initially dismissing it as normal animal noises, Francis couldn't shake the feeling that something was wrong. Despite his efforts to ignore the sounds and get some rest, they continued to tug at his heartstrings. With each chirp and hum, Francis's concern deepened. He couldn't bear the thought of an animal in distress so close by, especially after witnessing the beauty and grace of the sea otter's swim just moments before. 
the conflict between wanting to intervene and respecting the natural order waged within Francis's mind. He knew that interfering with wild animals could have unintended consequences and potentially harm both himself and the creatures involved. Yet, the cries for help pierced through his resolve, urging him to take action. Determined to uncover the source of the distressing sound, Francis grabbed a flashlight despite the well-lit night from the full moon. He wanted to be extra cautious. Stepping out of his tent, he followed the sounds, growing more convinced with each step that the creature must be in distress. After a brief walk, Francis expected to find a bird or some other animal, but there was nothing in sight. He couldn't locate the source. Climbing a short watchtower-like structure meant for bay watchers to observe the beach, the sound grew more frantic. Francis flashed his torch around, certain the sound was coming from where he stood. Yet, he saw nothing. Was his mind playing tricks on him? He pondered. Then, Francis heard the sound again, realizing the creature must be beneath the lifeguard watchtower. Stepping down, he experienced the shock of a lifetime. There, illuminated by his flashlight, was a young sea otter trapped under the structure. Francis's heart sank at the sight. He wished he had acted upon hearing the distressing sound earlier. How long had the creature been trapped there? Time was of the essence. Francis knew he had to free the helpless otter from its entrapment. It dawned on him that the little animal might have been trying to reach the waters alongside the others he had seen earlier. However, it ended up trapped here. Unable to free itself, it cried out in frustration. Without hesitation, Francis sprang into action. Carefully maneuvering around the structure, he approached the trapped otter. With gentle hands, he began to lift and shift the wooden beams, hoping to create enough space for the otter to escape. However, it wasn't enough. The poor thing was too stuck. As Francis squatted down, he extinguished his flashlight to avoid further agitating the already distressed creature. The otter didn't exhibit signs of aggression, such as hissing or sudden defensive moves, as Francis cautiously approached. He couldn't discern if it was because it was too exhausted or if it somehow understood his intention to help. With the otter calmed, he proceeded to examine the wooden space underneath the lifeguard tower. To free the otter, Francis needed to find a way to unscrew a part of the wooden structure that was nailed shut. But how could he do this without further distressing the creature? He couldn't risk grabbing the otter and pulling it in the opposite direction, as it could escalate the situation. After contemplating for a moment, Francis noticed that a portion of the nailed wooden component trapping the otter was slightly loosened. The otter must have attempted to free itself, inadvertently loosening it in the process. Realizing the solution lay before him, Francis gently tugged on the loosened component, hoping to detach it and free the otter. To his surprise, the little animal seemed to understand his efforts and began to assist, pulling and wriggling itself in tandem with his actions. With one final tug, the wooden piece detached, liberating the otter from its entrapment. Relief washed over Francis as he watched the cute animal scamper away, free at last. Exhausted but elated, he collapsed onto the sand, his adrenaline-fueled ordeal finally over. He couldn't believe he had managed to rescue the trapped otter all by himself. As the otter moved about, relishing its newfound freedom, it began to sniff around Francis, unsure if he was about to be attacked or if the creature was simply getting acquainted with its human savior, Francis stood up, maintaining a short distance and signaling for the otter to return to the water. The otter seemed hesitant at first, but eventually started to glide towards the bay, heading to join the rest of its family. However, just as it was about to disappear into the waters, it stopped and turned to look back at Francis in the moonlit night before swimming away. Despite the unexpected turn of events, Francis couldn't help but smile to himself as he walked happily back to his tent, proud of his actions in rescuing the trapped otter. As the first light of dawn began to illuminate the sky, Francis knew that this would be a story he would cherish and share for years to come. Little did he know, this wouldn't be his last encounter with the otter. Back in the present, as Francis and his friends marveled at the sight of the sea otter swimming around, he couldn't shake the thought. Could this be the same otter he had rescued months ago? Was it possible that it recognized him? Hence, its playful mannerisms in the water. 
Though uncertain, Francis felt a familiar tug to swallow his fears once again. Otters are wild animals and it isn't advisable to approach them. However, he couldn't ignore the feeling that this otter seemed to be seeking attention, swimming closer to the shore as if inviting interaction. As people filmed the scene, expressing admiration for the beautiful creature and sharing laughter, no one anticipated what would happen next. In the midst of the admiration, Francis playfully stepped further into the shallow waters and a hush fell over the crowd, unsure of what would transpire. It was in that moment of anticipation that the most shocking yet beautiful encounter between man and wild otter unfolded before their eyes, and it was all captured on camera. As Francis dipped his legs into the water, the otter did something unexpected. Instead of swimming away or confronting the human intruder, it swam closer to him, circling around his legs and sniffing him curiously, studying his clothing and body language. In a breathtaking display of trust and affection, the otter began to cuddle and swim, allowing its sleek body to brush against Francis's legs. It was a moment of pure magic, a connection between man and wild creature that transcended the boundaries of fear and uncertainty. Engulfed in the moment, Francis couldn't simply stand idly by as the otter snuggled and swam around his legs. Though there was no telling if it was the same otter he had saved, he felt a deep connection with the creature. So, he extended his arms, gently bending his back to rub the otter's back as it circled around his legs. The creature reacted to this with curiosity, sniffing his hand, perhaps expecting treats or simply enjoying the affectionate gesture. Whatever the case, it was a beautiful and rare moment shared between man and wild animal. When it seemed the otter had had its fill of attention and interaction, it swam a short distance away. However, it soon returned to Francis once more, snuggling close to him for a brief moment amidst laughter and expressions of beauty from onlookers. Then, with a graceful dive, it swam away, perhaps off to hunt for its food for the day. As the sea otter gracefully swam away, Francis couldn't shake the strong conviction that it was indeed the same one he had rescued months ago. A sense of wonder and gratitude washed over him, filling his heart with a profound sense of fulfillment. With a contented sigh, he turned to his friends, their faces reflecting the same awe and admiration he felt. Unable to contain his joy, Francis realized that this encounter would forever be etched into his memories. His wish for a close encounter with nature's wild animals had been fulfilled in the most beautiful and unexpected way imaginable. Little did Francis know that his remarkable encounter with the otter would soon catapult him into online stardom. The videos capturing their interaction spread like wildfire across social media platforms, garnering millions of views and shares. Everywhere he went, people recognized him as the otter guy, and soon he found himself inundated with interview requests and podcast invitations. During these interviews, Francis was questioned about what compelled him to confront a wild otter despite its unpredictable nature. He explained that younger otters, like the one he encountered, were often friendly and curious, particularly when they felt safe and unthreatened. He emphasized that he hadn't been the one to take the first step. The otter had approached them, seemingly seeking attention and interaction, and he couldn't deny the beautiful creature the connection it craved. Francis's viral encounter with the otter not only brought him fame, but also shed light on the plight of these magnificent sea creatures. People around the world were captivated by the story, and it sparked a renewed interest in otter conservation efforts. Organizations dedicated to protecting otters in their habitats saw a surge in support, bolstering global initiatives to safeguard these endangered animals. What a beautiful story! of a heartwarming encounter between a man and a sea otter. Have you had a compassionate encounter with a non-domestic animal? Share your experiences in the comments below. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.